What is pulmonary volvuloplasty? Well, I'm gonna cover that in today's video, so stay tuned and don't go anywhere. This is a type of valve repair, and it's basically where you put a catheter in it and you kind of put a balloon to kind of compact some plaque, but I'm gonna cover that and kind of show a little diagram in the next section. Hey, this is Lance McGowan, the Tropical Smoothie Guy, and today we're going to talk about a type of valve repair called pulmonary valvuloplasty, and this is one of the five main types of valve repair that are typically done. And you can see a picture of the heart here and how a catheter is inserted through a vein in the neck and is actually going into the heart here. And in the next picture here, we're going to see what happens. So this is where the pic first picture here shows a stenotic pulmonary valve. You can see there's some spaces or gaps in between these openings, and that's where blood can kind of come back into the heart, which isn't good. And then what is done with this is there is a balloon that inflates and crushes the plaque in the valve cusps, and then the repaired valve closes properly, doesn't allow the old blood to go back into the heart and the new blood to kind of get pumped where it needs to. And so this is a procedure that kind of manages the symptoms of plaque, but in the next section I'm going to talk more about you know what how the plaque gets there and some natural solutions that you can look into. When it comes to surgeries like this where they're basically putting a catheter and then inserting something where it compacts plaque against the walls, I always think like this is very much like a band-aid solution. It's great technology and yes it can help with blood flow, but it's still managing or masking the symptoms because it doesn't address how the plaque got there, how it built up, how any part of the plaque may have ruptured and blood clots may have gotten caught there and restricted blood flow or completely blocked the blood flow, or it doesn't address why the valves are having inflammation or not opening and closing as they should, or there's gaps or air pockets in between the valves. So really for me, it's always like, all right, how do we address all of those? And if we don't have the answer to those, how do we get the answers to those with regards to our own body? And it's not like you can obviously put a camera in your heart and be like, hey, what's going on? But we do know that there's a lot of inflammation causing foods, processed foods, fried foods. There's a lot of acidic foods, including processed foods, meat, dairy, eggs, seafood are all acidic. And so we want foods that are going to help us repair from the inside out and going to reduce the overall plaque in our body. And so that's going to be antioxidant rich foods and fiber rich foods as well. And then you also want to focus on nutrient dense foods. And so those three things are going to be super important for supporting your overall health and your heart is no different because when your body gets what it needs, your body can heal itself. It just needs those raw ingredients and raw materials to do so. Well, that concludes today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click the subscribe button so you can watch more videos like this one or click one of the links in the description box below so you can continue to get your learn on.